Hey Virgo Moon, this is what we got going on for your monthly January 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. So Virgos, happy new year. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope your holidays was absolutely wonderful. I hope everything that you guys ever wish and desire, it comes to fruition for you guys. So that will be my blessing for you guys that the coming year, 2023, will be so much more better for you guys in all areas of your life. And I hope everything works out for you guys, Virgos. And thank you so much for being a part of my journey as well. We are coming into almost four years of being on YouTube and <laughs> and thank you so much for everything and supporting me Virgos all right uh, tarotbarbie.com let's get it Virgos coming with the two of swords the two of cups and the sun in reverse it's very sad energy honestly like fucked up energy to be honest with you guys Virgos somebody here with the two of swords four of pentacles you guys decide to say nope I don't want any more I was Oh my god, it's so sad. It's like, uh, you're too stupid or too naive <laughs> to see this person for who the fuck they really were. That's really what it comes down to. You're too stupid and too naive to see them for who they really were. This person was not. They were, they were, they were two-faced. This is a two-faced type of person with the two of swords, four of pentacles. You guys decided to call it a day. Like, this connection between you and this person, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, a Virgo, a Gemini. Yes, Virgos. This person, this person is very two-faced with the two swords. You guys decide to release this person and let them go. Like they were not, all they were doing for you was delaying your progress, delaying your you spiritually, delaying you from being able to achieve or get to where it is that you needed to be energetically. Because this person here was pulling on your energy quite a bit with the Queen of Wands in reverse. They're stressed out. They're having a really bad time right now with the Nine of Swords Temperance card. They're hoping that the angels are going to come in and heal them. Uh, maybe this person even tried to do some sort of spell work on you guys, but you guys defended yourself. Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You guys are going to be just fine. Keep this person very much so far away from you guys, Virgo. There's no need to get involved with this person. They are incredibly jealous of you, and that's exactly why they're a two-faced. Uh, because in order to be in your energy and in your presence, they have to pretend and act like they like you, right? Because they see you. They see what you what you carry. You're the, you're the temperance. They see your energy. They see that you're a light worker. They see that you are very much so abundant. And every area of your life, even if you're not into spirituality, uh, this person thought that they were going to be able to level up spiritually is how I'm seeing this by being around you. Um, but you guys decide to let it go and release it and move on with your life. Uh, this connection will not be coming back for you guys with the two of cups in reverse. No way. Even if they even try and cling on to you and want this connection to work out between you and them, they're saying, sorry, not going to happen. Two of cups. It's not true love. It's not true friendship. We're not going to let this person back in your life because we care about you and you don't need people to to take your energy from you or to steal your energy from you or to even just be a two-faced straight up with you. This person was a liar with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the world card. This person has no success coming towards them. They were stagnating you from being able to get to where it is that you need to be. They tried to block you really badly and to even hold you back. They, they did. They did. They held you back a lot. In every area of your life, spiritually, money-wise, career-wise, they held you the fuck back. For that, this connection between you and this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius will no longer be harmonized. It's not going to work out. It's too much bullshit to go back and be like, okay, I forgive you. Fuck it all, Virgos. At the end of the day, you're leaving it to where it is because spirit's going to handle it. If spirit's saying, sorry, we're going to block it, you have no choice but to move on with your life and call it a day. Even if you force the connection between you and this person, it's not going to work out. It's just going to hurt you in the long run. So just let it go, accept it, and move on with your life, Virgos. At least the fact is, is that you guys find the truth with the, you guys realize this person was nothing but a two-faced to you. Ace of Swords, World Card. So it's not going to happen. Uh, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius once again here. Uh, this this Sun in Reverse, this person is no longer going to be happy. They're going to go through a lot of depression. So this is going to be their karma for what they've done to you. You okay? They're gonna get their karma for being two faced with you. They're gonna get their karma, so this person's gonna be really scared. They're gonna end up getting very scared with the nine of wands to the page of wands in reverse because they know that they were childish and the things that they said to you was very fucking rude or they're complainer or they just talked a lot of shit. 
uh, but they are going to be going through a lot of misery, unhappiness. I see a lot of misery type of energy. So misery loves company, but you're not miserable. So for that, you're leaving this person behind. Childish energy, page of wands, maybe young energy too. Uh, judgment is going to be called in for you guys, Virgos, and saying to you, hold up a second. What are you looking backwards for? We removed this person away from you for a specific reason. And then you guys thought that, oh, talking to them was going to be good. I don't really see your energy a lot here anymore, Virgos. I do see you guys separating yourselves from them. And uh, Judgment saying, we have something much more better for you. If you like it, come with us. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This is uh, this energy here belongs to the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, while this energy here belongs to you. So spirit is coming in. They're calling judgment. They're saying, listen, child, we have something better for you. You want it? It's here. We're going to bring you success, happiness, marriage, abundance, love, stability, a new home, and a proposal uh, which is going to be maybe a, a lot of money that's going to be coming for you guys. I do see a ton of money that's coming in, but Spirit is saying we have something much more better for you. Take it because whatever this person was trying to do for you, they wasn't giving to you properly with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They were jealous of you. They were jealous of the work that you do. They're jealous of the way that you manifest. They were jealous of the way that you create. They're just simply envious of you, Virgos. <sighs> and you guys are going to continue to do your thing. I don't recommend you guys going back and wanting to work on this relationship with this person. There's no point. They're not going to be able to ever give you what you deserve. Friendship-wise, lover-wise, the fuck whatever-wise, workplace-wise, whatever, whatever. If you guys are working for somebody, they're not paying you properly. You guys are the ones that are doing your thing and hustling and whatever, and you guys are making the most sales, but you're not getting paid. You're not even getting compensation for it. So they're saying like, yo, what are you doing? You're putting all this work in with the Eight of Pentacles, but you're not getting nothing back in return. Why? Put, make people treat you how you treat yourself. Get them to treat you how you treat yourself. There is no, oh, I need this job and I can and I, and I have to do this. No, you're going to let people understand how to, how, how, to, how, to, how to treat you. You should teach people how to treat you. Okay, especially if this is a workplace situation here with the Six of Pentacles that you're not getting compensated for the work that you're doing. You must get compensated for it, all right? Also, Virgos, they're saying that if you go back and let this Queen of Wands back into your life, it's saying that you're not going to get that reciprocated energy. Like, even if you guys want to work on this relationship with this person, they're still not going to be able to give you what you want. It's not good. There is, there's no give and take. There's no fucking friendship. There's no nothing here. Keep them away from you because this is person, two-faced energy. They just want what you give to them, but they don't want to give back to you. It's like, I'll take, 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 but I'm not going to give you, give you, give you. You feel me? Stay away from people like this. Stay away from them, Virgos. They're going to try and still find a way to come in and contact you. Uh, you guys also have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries who's going to come in and communicate with you too. This person's going to come in very, very fast, like too fast, almost as if they're kind of angry in a way, but they're coming in pretty fast. Somebody here also drives a white vehicle. Somebody here also drives a beetle, which is really weird. I thought those beetles were like 19, maybe just like a a little tiny box car or something. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to contact you two of pentacles you guys are going to have to decide on whether or not you're going to want to reach out to them during new year's it looks like you're going to take off and you're going to go hang out and have a party i do believe virgos that you guys need to make sure that you stay away from people who are not going to be good to you stay away from people if you're if they're offering you a drink and you didn't wash them pour that drink for you don't be drinking it it's just straight and simple don't be doing it I do believe that you guys need to be careful when you're drinking and driving because I do see that there is drinking and driving that could potentially put you in the end position. So be mindful that you're not drinking and driving on New Year's. Virgos, you guys take your time and find somebody who is not intoxicated to get you from A to B. If that means you jump into a taxi, an Uber, uh, whatever the fuck, what, somebody who's just sober, that's how you guys should be getting home. It looks like you guys are going to be taking a lift and getting to where it is that you guys need to be. Uh, stay away from the page of cups in reverse because if this is a lover relationship, it's saying that this person still cannot offer you any type of love. I do believe they're very deceptive and they are not good for you. You're going to leave them behind and you're going to go into a different direction. So if you guys were meant to like hang out with this person during New Year's, it's saying you're not going to hang out with them. You're going to actually go hang out with somebody else instead because the energy is saying don't do it. Stay away from people who are who are, are, are artifice. Fucking deception, Virgos. Just straight up deception. This is an enemy. Stay away from them. They're not good for you at the end of the day. You guys also have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's going to be reaching out to you during New Year's. This person wants to talk to you. You're coming in as a Queen of Pentacles while they're the Page of Pentacles. So they have only like, hey, how are you doing? Happy New Year. You're going to get that. 
And you guys are going to be very grounded when this person contacts you. Some of you guys are going to be like, all right, it's just cool. Just a text message, go on, whatever. But it does look like they're going to be thinking about the messages that you guys are having here with the Seven of Pentacles. And they're going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I already sent them a message. I already said Happy New Year. Why don't I go and see them? And then they're like, all right, cool. So now they want control. They want they Now they want control. Now they want to hold on to you. Now they're coming towards you. And they're going to be like, hey, do you want to meet up? Let's meet up. It could be another Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, this person had to think about it very long and hard uh, because they've been in hermit mode for such a long time. But it looks like they want to come out of hermit. They made the decision that they want to bring this cup towards you with the six of wands. But they have to find a way to not press you. And to release their addictions and all the negative shit, the, the, the past uh, codependent type of energy here. Because you don't need them for nothing, but they might be needing you. Uh, this person is going to see that you are very much so special and very much so recognized. Though they may have to try and find a way to hold you down so that way nobody else can have you. Because they see like, oh my god. <laughs> you guys leveled up. You guys are not where you're at. You where you were before. So they're gonna come back and they're gonna be like, no, I you're you're chain and bound. You're mine forever. I own you, and nobody else. Can. <laughs> it won't work out if it's like that. This person needs to put the devil away and not act like that towards you guys, Virgos. That that shit is is, is gonna be unacceptable behavior. Uh, you guys could have been dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. So they're saying here that if. The, neither of you guys are willing to compromise the situation here with the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. There is no compromising on the situation. You, someone here is being emotionally manipulative while the other one is not wanting to speak up and say nothing, meaning that they're being a liar. And this King of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius, is trying to act like they have everything under control. But really, they're just very selfish and they are going to be leaving behind this Queen of Cups because they feel like this Queen of Cups is not good at the end of the day. So Virgos, if you guys are the ones that are being selfish, emotionally manipulative, this King of Swords is not having it. He's going to put you in, in check real quick, Five of Swords, and he will leave you behind. And you guys are going to try and start causing some sort of argument, but the King of Swords is going to leave off with their life. Seven of Swords, Star card, they're going to dip and they're going to fucking abandon you straight up. Seven of Swords are going to just take off. This is not a good energy here. This is like two people who are fucking around, who are causing drama for no reason. Nobody wants to see things eye to eye. This is stay away from this type of person. They just want control. They want to have power over you. They want to control you. And you guys are going to fight with them. You're going to move on with your life. And then you're going to feel abandoned. And it's going to be a huge loss because realistically, it's almost like a turnaround in the situation. It's like you're upset over the, what they did to you. OK, but then they're going to try and flip it psychologically and make it look like use the problem. And that's how they're going to be able to get away with it, which is crazy because somebody here is very good with psychology. And the fact that this person is the king of swords to the five of swords, they do have some sort of mental problem, meaning that they have the ability to fuck shit up when they get triggered. And they need to be very, very careful. Seven of swords, ten, uh, star card. This person needs a lot of healing. Uh, Aquarius energy needs a lot of healing. But I mean, maybe because they have a drinking problem and maybe they're even acting and pretending like they're not drinking, but they are. And that's why you guys are fighting with each other. Somebody here has a very, very bad drinking habit. And I could honestly say someone's definitely an alcoholic. You need to get your shit together because no matter how much you drink, it's not going to fix whatever the fuck is stemmed deep down inside of you. So heal yourself and always please take care of yourselves. At the bottom of the deck, you got the death energy, which will come to a complete ending with the death card to the three of swords that's it virgos the relationship is done and over with because you don't have time to be dealing with someone who's very selfish someone who only thinks about themselves cherry card cancer energy scorpio energy and you're going to leave them out in the cold five of pentacles and you're going to do what you need to do to pick yourselves up king of pentacles and the emperor card you guys are stepping into the energy of building on yourselves your own business your success very stubborn type of energy here as well. It's like you're definitely a go-getter, but things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you. This energy here of you being in this relationship with this person was really holding you back and, and stopping you from being able to progress like deep level Virgos. Like they was really holding you back. Um, at the end of the day, you're not going to have time to be dealing with this person at the end of the not at all. Nine of Pentacles, you guys are going to continue to prosper and maybe even find a new love in the future, Virgos. This Emperor here, this Aries, this King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer energy, they're going to definitely try and come back towards you, hoping that you're going to be okay. 
I please ask Virgos that you don't encourage people to drink when they're going through lots of sadness here because somebody here drinks when they're going through depression or they're, they're sad. They drink a lot of whiskey. I see a lot of vodka here too and a lot of red wine. <laughs> Gross. Okay, Virgos. So this emperor, they're very, very stubborn, incredibly stubborn, very, very stubborn. They only do things when they want to do things, right? five of cups, ten of swords. It does come to a complete ending. It comes to a lot of pain and a lot of hurt here as well. Um, Virgos, also be careful that a cancer doesn't try and run up on you guys. It's saying that if... It's like, so like, watch your back. Emperor, you need to watch your back because there's going to be somebody from behind you who might come running up from behind you. So this could be on anywhere, on the block, on the streets, on whatever. Just It's saying just watch your back from the situation because it could hurt you. Five of Cups, Ten of Sword energy, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, this cycle has to come to a complete ending. So some of you guys might want to be reaching out to this person and be like, I hope you're doing well. I didn't mean whatever had happened back when. And you guys will probably link up with them having a drink. But the relationship is done and over with Virgos. Uh, Spirit is handing you guys the Ace of Wands because divination is coming in for you. So there's going to be another connection that's going to be coming in for you guys. But this person, I do believe this person is going to try and come in at the same time. Who's going to want to come back and fix the relationship after a long period, right? And they're going to want to work on the relationship too. Lover's card, it could be a Gemini, a Libra, Taurus energy. At the end of the day... Virgos, this person still can't let you go. They're still holding on to you. Everything that they do to try and let you go and release you, they're just like, no, I have to work it out with them Virgos. I got to work it out with them Virgos. The relationship is not over and you guys are really stressed out. I do believe Virgos, you guys need to be very, very careful that you guys don't put yourselves in a position to allow anybody to have access towards you sexually here. I do believe that there could be a uh, um, sexual assault that could be coming in. Um, date rape could also be coming in here as well. Uh, Ten of Swords, Lover's Card, Eight of Swords. It could be at a party, at a celebration, which will end up going downhill. Tower card. All right, you guys got to be careful. If you don't want to do something, you make sure that you let the motherfucker know. Bridget, back the fuck up off you. You will fucking pepper spray their stupid ass, and you will let them fucking know that you will fucking defend yourself. And I do recommend that you guys do call police if this is the situation, Virgos, because it looks like it could end up having to go into court energy where it will have to go and be prosecuted underneath a judge, and it will go in your favor, and it could potentially lead to jail time coming in. So if that was to happen, I want you guys to know that the person will get caught for they will go to jail for for predator and sexual assault which is very fucking crazy um so please virgos ten of swords it's almost like you guys you guys got to be aware when you're drinking like if you can't don't have any common sense when you're drinking then you maybe shouldn't be drinking outdoors like you guys just just don't fucking do it at all if you know that you're that type of person where you black out just don't fucking do it at all what are you drinking for fuck off Stop drinking, get a fucking life, and fucking figure it out the fuck out. Straight the fuck up. Because you're going to put yourself in a position where you're going to be around the wrong fucking person one day. And it's going to come and fucking hurt you really badly. And it will take an, it will go straight into jurisdiction. And it will go into court. And it will go into fucking reports. And the police. And people will end up in jail. And you're going to end up in a lot of fucking stress. And the chaos. And hurt energy for a very long time. So if you know that you're the type of person to black out. Then why do you do something for? Pick up another fucking habit. Pick up another habit. Go drink some fucking water. Go breathe some air. Go do some sports. Go do fucking something. Even I'm getting pissed off because Spirit's getting pissed off. Because they've been telling you this for a very fucking long time. Yo, you black out when you drink. Why do you keep doing it for? And you know that you're supposed to stop, but you still don't stop anyway. Why? So that's a fucking warning for you guys, Virgos. Get it the fuck together. Ten of Swords, Lover's Card, Eight of Swords. Make sure you guys say no to this person if you don't want to do something with them. But I do believe that this is like fucked up energy. I'm also picking up on hostage energy. It's like you guys are held hostage in a home and somebody's okay. And also held hostage in a fucking jail cell. So someone's going to jail. You're not coming out. Uh, Virgos, this will be hidden, of course. The High Priestess. 
You guys are not going to be speaking too much about it, but it will look like it comes into investigation and it's going to have to be investigated and you guys are not going to want to speak up about everything, but they're saying that if you know about it, you got to speak up about it because you're the one that fucking ended up having to call and report it at the end of the day. So speak up and say what you need to say. Don't call them and then just be like, oh, I don't want to fucking deal with this shit anymore. No, you you need to talk to them about it and you need to solve this situation out and be examined. You must. You must. Uh, Four of Cups, Page of Swords. You also got the Gemini Libra Aquarius, who's gonna want to come back towards you guys. That this person's been very stressed out about you, but they're ho they think that you're not gonna want them when you when they come back for you. Uh, they think that you're gonna reject their offer. This is somebody from the past as well. <sighs> but that wheel's gonna turn regardless. And this person's coming in with communication. They want to talk to you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They want to be with you really badly. They don't want to leave you alone, Virgos. They it, they they're saying that like, it's been too much time with the Four of Swords. It's been too much time since you guys haven't been with them, and they just want want to be with you. But you're gonna have to let them know how you really feel with the Queen of Swords. And if they and and if they're if they're willing to put in the work, then why not? If they're not willing to put in the work, then forget about it. I do believe that the, somebody's gonna be prosecuted, and they will go to jail for sexual assault energy here. You guys need to be careful. Don't be mad at me for talking to you guys the way that I talk to you guys because it's not me, it's spirit. They really have had enough of your bullshit and they've had enough of the person who's drinking and is always intoxicated and that you black out or you do stuff and you just fucking pass out. That's unacceptable behavior. If you know you're that type of person, then do not leave your house. Do not hang out with people that you shouldn't be around. Fucking simple, plain, point, fucking period. You're jumping into the year 2023. Find goals for yourself and make shit happen for yourself. Four of Swords. Someone's going to have to get examined. At the end of the day, Virgos, always take care of yourselves. Thanks, cuties. Bye.